Here, what was the genesis of this whole project? How did it uh, actually get conceived to have this whole area redeveloped, starting with the stadium? Well, I think it all comes down to trying to create a, uh, a destination place and turning Whiting into a place where people could come and spend a couple of days uh, and visit us. Uh, you know, to do that, you have to have the right mix of amenities and uh, businesses, and and uh, the stadium is a big part of that. Um, following up with our museums and of course the lakefront project is a huge um, uh, catalyst or attraction that we'll put on the books. Whose idea actually was it at the start? Uh, was the stadium a, a standalone project or did you and its conceivers actually look at a whole big package of things surrounding the stadium when the stadium was conceived? That's a good question. Uh, what really happened is that uh, when our lakefront project was uh, underway, we knew we had to move our baseball field from the park, uh, lakefront park, uh, inland somewhere. And we looked at this site, and uh, initially we were looking at doing something mo much more modest. But after discussions with our friends at BP, um, we uh, um, eventually settled for a site closer to 119th Street, which then led us to say, okay, this could actually help us with our attractions and, and it could turn into more of a, a destination facility um, uh, instead of just a, a normal uh, cyclone fence baseball field. How far back did this go and did the uh, Great Recession put everything on hold because hardly anything was being built even with uh, the refinery support uh, right here. Right, yeah, it, it, it probably goes back into 2007, 2008 from the vision perspective, uh, maybe even a little before that. We began construction of some components and started buying properties uh, somewhere in that 2008 range. Uh, so it's, it's back quite a ways. But. Now, uh, what, if you get the your wish fulfilled, your wish list fulfilled, what would be the total scope of this when every last structure is built and every bit of inf infrastructure is uh, installed? Okay. I mean, the total scope uh, uh, um, from a dollar perspective is massive. It's uh, um, well over $100, $100 million of public money, uh, hopefully another $100 million in private money, and that doesn't include any investment made by the refinery or BP to improve their facilities, which we uh, anticipate that ha uh, some of that happening. But uh, that will include uh, uh, museums, uh, expansion of ballpark, uh, parking facilities, 150,000 square foot of retail and commercial space, uh, new, new uh, residential uh, condominiums and apartments, uh, hotel on the lakefront, restaurant on the lakefront, uh, multiple new restaurants along the business district. So the hotel and the restaurants on the lakefront would not only serve what you're building, but also nearby businesses like the casino then, uh, as you conceive it. Sure, uh, I mean the hotel would certainly be a big player, uh, the casino would be one of their, uh, uh, one of their markets they'd look at. Uh, the restaurant, of course, uh, would attract people from all over, to, uh, all over the area, and plus Chicago land. Uh, so they certainly would uh, would bring people uh, outside of just the local area. Does this change Whiting's image from a refinery industrial uh, place to a entertainment place? Is, is this one of your goals to uh, change the in, the hundred year old image of the uh, city? Um, you know, I, I think uh, the, the image itself, is, uh, we're always going to be a refinery town. Uh, they're a big part of our community. They're great partners of ours. Our, our goal is to try to make sure that we can convince people that uh, um, you can coexist with a, a large industry like the refinery and that the amenities we add, uh, you know, uh, from the recreational standpoint and the tourism standpoint, they actually blend well. What gave you the idea to actually invite the Chicago Baseball Museum here and then the Mascot Museum because both are going to be working together uh, for common purposes, common facilities, and share common resources. Uh, where did you uh, get the uh, idea that you'd like to be a sports destination like that? Well, I guess a couple couple answers to that question. The first one was is that um, we, we knew that building a museum for just the city of Whiting and for the refinery's history was um, uh, pushing the envelope a little bit and that uh, sustaining an operation like that would be challenging. Uh, secondly, we, we ran into Ron Neese, who happens to be uh, one of the uh, architects, exhibit architects, uh, um, that's working with the Chicago Baseball Museum, and through conversation led to uh, introductions to Dr. Fletcher and a few other uh, CBM uh, board members. And that eventually led to the uh, introduction of the people from the Mascot uh, Hall of Fame also. And, and our, my conversations with both of the groups have uh, taken us to the point where we are today. Is the potential for star power actually having celebrities come to town in connection with uh, both the Mascot Hall of Fame and the Chicago Baseball Museum? Is that one of the impetuses uh, that's moving it forward that you'll be able to perhaps uh, have a Hall of Famer or have 
uh, the uh, San Diego chicken uh, and uh, the related celebrities here? I think that's a big advantage. Uh, you know, I don't. Uh, I think the the primary impetus is that we have two attractions that are both regional and in some cases nationwide uh, to bring people to Whiting, Indiana uh, that haven't been here before. Uh, having those attractions like uh, Hall of Famers and 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 the key mascots would certainly add to that and bring bring people here on a different level. But uh, I think they work hand in hand, and that uh, it all works to the end, at the end of the day to, uh, to achieve the common goal. In terms of uh, the drawing area that you'd expect from uh, all the studies, would you expect to be able to get people from the entire Chicago area, or, or would it first be the northwest Indiana and the southern part of Cook County? Uh, what have your studies uh, shown you that the, the potential, not only for the museums, the Hall of Fame, but your uh, other amenities, the restaurants, and things like that? No, uh, again, uh, uh, everything we've seen to date, including uh, some studies we've partnered with the Mascot Hall of Fame on, uh, indicate that the Whiting's within about an hour drive time of nine and a half million people in the Chicagoland area. So uh, that is a huge, huge number of people. Uh, there's really only two other areas in the country that can provide those kind of numbers. So I think the, the outreach is really wide. I think uh, um, once uh, we get established and once we establish a marketing program that uh, you probably even grow from that because I think both of the amenity, uh, uh, the entities, the, both the Chicago Baseball Museum and the Mascot Hall of Fame, along with the refinery and the Rockefeller Museum that we plan on building, uh, have a wide uh, appeal to a lot of people in the Midwest. When you get everything on your wish list built, how long do you think it'll take? When would you anticipate a projected completion of the project if you get everything all lined up in a row? I'm looking at uh, timelines right now and in budgetary uh, uh, um, uh, scenarios and uh, uh, I think that uh, in two years uh, we can uh, be um, uh, significantly completed on most of those projects. Uh, you pro will probably be wrapping up a few things at the tail end there and uh, so uh, somewhere between that year and a half and three years is a good timeline with a lot of it happening within that two year window. Would you say because the economy has improved you as a mayor have to keep uh, your finger on the pulse of that uh, dealing with your department? heads are we past the crisis a stage where we can now say we can have a development like this uh, proceed pretty smoothly well, it's all about timing I mean the recession in, uh, coming to an end and us growing out of that is uh, is uh, important but uh, it really becomes uh, uh, the, uh, how, how much money we can invest from a public uh, sector and that's all based on uh, on the revenue streams and, and timing of those revenue streams so uh, it's it's all realistic and uh, um, right now uh, we're trying to move full steam ahead okay that's